One down, a million more to go. <laughs> What's up guys, I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. This is gonna be kind of a fun video. A little different, but I'm excited. Let me back up and explain. So some of you guys might be familiar with uh, another fellow running shoe YouTuber named Ed Bud. So I'm just scrolling through Instagram, minding my own business one day, and I see I have a DM from Ed Bud, and it's in a group chat with Andy, Forrest of Dean Runner, and another running shoe YouTuber that you might know, not sure, goes by the name Kofuzi. So it's like, Hey cats, it's shoe tuber, Asics, Ekadin time. I might get some trolling for this, but I wasn't really sure what an Ekadin was. And basically what I learned is that it's a marathon relay. So everybody does like a part of the marathon and you put the results together and that's your overall time for your group. So today I'm doing a 10K portion of of this Ekadin, it's 6.2 miles. This has to be done in RunKeeper, which I've actually never used before, so that's also a first. So my plan is to do this around my parents' neighborhood, which is pretty flat, 12 times around, yes, 12. <laughs> I am a sucker for pain and torture. But it's flat and my dad's gonna follow me on a bike with the GoPro and my fiance is gonna catch me on the turnaround with the camera. I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'm gonna take you guys on this Ekadin journey. Let's go. Because this is an ASICS race, I figured I would kill two birds with one stone and try out the new Hyperspeeds, the $90 racing flat or road flat, flat thing. It looks pretty firm, but it's 90 bucks, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And then I'll give you my first run impressions of this shoe on Sunday. See what I did there? Let's go. It's a very far drive. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> We're here. We made it. Hey. Hello. Chelsea. Wow, you got a furry mouse on the end of your camera. It's a microphone, oh God. Ah. Tyson. And Gracie. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. I'm being ambushed. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have my fiance catch me on the turnarounds. And then my dad, King Sid, is gonna follow me on the bike. He's very excited, right, Dad? Overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about this. So my dad took some really nice shots of me running. I was super excited about it. And then the next morning, Ruby decided to eat, yes, literally eat my SD card. Here's a picture of it. So all of my footage from the GoPro was gone except for two clips that I had exported onto the computer the day before. Thank God Andy asked me for some clips, otherwise I would have literally nothing. So this montage may not be the most exciting footage of me, but we made it work with what we had, which was basically nothing. Thanks Ruby, you're getting coal for Christmas. All right, anyway, back to the race.
Yep. You want to hold this a little bit? Almost done. Watch you fly. <laughs> I know my body says Maybe it's 7. Back in the day. <laughs> my, my body says it's 7.39. <laughs> Um, it didn't tell me when it was over. Oh. So I, I knew that like it said to do 6.23. So I was do I was doing that on here, mm -hmm. and then I I was like, all right, when is this gonna tell me when it's over? Because it kept telling me like over and over again every like fifth of a mile. So I was like, this has got to be over. So I pulled out my phone while I was running. Oh my gosh. And I stopped it at 6.3. Okay, good. And 6.3. Well, let's see what this officially says. 48.21, 6.3 miles, 7.40 average pace. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Splits were 7.41, 7.34, 7.45, 7.37, 7.35, 7.51, for a third of a mile. Awesome. <laughs> oh. All right guys, so I finished. I felt really good other than being incredibly bored by the course, but it was flat and that's why I did it. And now we're gonna get something to eat, which is the best part of doing a hard run. The eating afterwards, the reward. This is my really interesting running route that you guys see all the time in all of my videos. Exciting, huh? Food. All right, so um, if we look at the RunKeeper app, that's what I'll look at here because that's what the official timing will be. Um, so I did 6.31 miles. I ran a little bit over because I didn't want the app to sell me short and tell me that I didn't run the full distance. So I ran 6.3 in 48.21, uh, which is a 7.40 average pace, which was pretty good. I was happy with that. I didn't kill it out there. Um, but I was definitely working without a doubt and towards the end I was getting a little bit tired. For splits it says I had a 741, 734, 745, 737, 735, 751, and then for the last point three, uh, 729. I ran, I might have mentioned this before, but I ran 12 and a half-ish loops around my parents' neighborhood. So one loop around is half a mile. Uh, so that sounds really boring and it kind of was, but it's really flat. So I thought I had the best chance to um, PR my 10K, which I actually don't even know if I did PR. I think I did, I have to check that. I felt pretty good. If you look at the Garmin Connect app, I had a 169 heart rate, which is expected because I was working pretty hard. In terms of heart rate zones, I was in zone five for 2138. And I was in zone four for 24 and 19, and zone three for one minute and 53 seconds. I'm glad that I was in zone four for a little bit more of it. So yeah, that concludes my leg of the ShoeTubers United Ekaden team virtual race. I'm interested to see what our final time is. It's gonna be really cool. Well, update, we killed it. We ended up with a two hour, 57 minute and 46 second time. And we were 421st out of almost 8,500 teams, which is pretty incredible. I'll post all the legs here so you can see how everybody did. But it was such an honor to run with these guys. And I'm so happy I got to be a part of this team. Hopefully one day we can do it in person. And for those of you who wanna know how the ASICs hyperspeed held up today, during my run. That was the first run out of the box with the shoes. They were, you're gonna have to wait till Sunday. So stick around for that. Keep an eye out, that's coming as well. And that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you guys on Sunday. But in the meantime, get out there get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. See you next time. One down, a million more to go. Number two. This is
is three, right? Yep, three. Uh, I'll be here for two. Okay. This is four? Yep, that's four. This is six? Yep. Seven? Yep. Eight? Eight. How do you feel? All right. Okay. Nine, right? Yep. Ten? Yep. Almost done. Okay, that's enough. <laughs>